I'm Dara at Stamp with Dara, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this card. Today we're going to be using the Cheer All Year stamp set. We're going to be using the Happy Haunting Sentiment and the Bat Image. First, I'm taking a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is two inches by three and a half inches. I have my bat image on my clear block and then I'm going to use the tuxedo black memento ink pad once we've stamped that we're just going to cut it out with some paper snips Once we've cut the bat out, we're going to create a background with water coloring. You need a piece of cardstock that is whisper white. It's four inches by five and a quarter. And then I'm using the Rich Razzleberry ink pad. Just press down in the center of the pad to create a pool of ink in the lid. I'm going to press down a little more so that we have plenty of ink to work with. I'm using the large aqua painter. Out of the set of aqua painters, there is a medium one and a large one. And today I'm just going to be using the large. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of water out of my aqua painter and then just mix that up to dilute the ink a little bit. And then I'm just going to brush my aqua painter across my cardstock, just randomly freehanding to create the stripes on the cardstock. Next, I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad again. We're going to stamp the Happy Haunting sentiment near the bottom. Then I'm taking a piece of basic black cardstock. I've gone ahead and used my Stampin' Up trimmer to score the line here at four and a quarter. And I'm just going to fold that in half to create the card base. Then I'll just adhere that background piece that we made using some snail. And just center that right in the middle of the basic black. Now I'm going to take the bat and add some dimensionals to the back of it. I've cut a piece of the silver thread and I'm just going to run it around my fingers a few times. About four or five should be plenty. And then I will just kind of arrange it a little bit on my card. And add the bat right over the top. And I don't like the ends sticking out very much, so I'm just going to cut them off so that you can't see them. Next, I'm going to use the fine tip glue pen and some sequins. I'm just going to place a couple up at the top of the bat 
and then one below down here. And now we have a finished card. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see other tutorials and have a wonderful day.